channel. I hope you are well. Today I'm going to be talking about the ultimate guide to natural and organic foundations because I get so many questions about this in terms of like liquid and cream and everything in between. So I thought I would just make a video for you. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Also, if you would like to sign up to my free Glow Summit, which features some of the most incredible ladies being interviewed by myself to get their top tips and tricks on how to glow from the inside out, then the link's in the description bar below. So let's get on with the video. Okay, I've split this video up into three different sections. So the first one we have liquid foundations, the second one we have cream foundations, and the third we have powder. So I know that everybody's skin is slightly different, so um, yeah, I thought I would break it up that way. The first section, which is the liquid foundations, is my absolute favorite because I love a good liquid foundation. So let's get straight into it. I have five top foundations for each different category. So in all, we have 15 foundations, which which is kind of crazy, but I just couldn't miss them out because they're all equally amazing. So I'm going to start with, oh, I have to start with my ultimate favorite for 2018, which is the Air Perez Oat Milk Foundation. And this is in the color Chai. Now Air Perez reformulated their oat milk foundation towards the end of last year and relaunched it this year. And I have to say it is one of the most phenomenal liquid foundations I've ever used. And I know that loads of people have bought it since I've been raving about it and they love it too. It's a really, really smooth cream consistency. It has, it leaves a really glowy, dewy look on your skin. And also it's probably like medium coverage. Um, it's just absolutely phenomenal. I've actually got it on my face today. It's my favorite foundation that I have used this year and I will keep using it until it runs out. I know that they have brought out a new foundation which is quinoa based and I'm just waiting for that to come through. So I will let you know what that's like in a different review. But for right now, this is one of the most amazing liquid foundations you could get on the market. So yeah. Amazing. The second favorite liquid foundation that I love is the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. Now this is in the color 3.5 and um, it is a liquid serum. It gives you medium coverage and I find it goes on so, so nicely. The the finish of it is really, really dewy. I did a video with it where this isn't the right color for me, unfortunately, but the consistency is amazing. And if you can get the coloring right for your skin, then it is an absolutely amazing foundation to use. I am such a fan of it. It is more on the luxury price point, but I think it's really, really worth it. It feels a lot drier when it goes onto the skin. So I'm not entirely sure I would recommend this for really dry skin types, whereas the Air Perez foundation, I definitely would. And even if you do have really, really dry skin, just mix in some oil or a really great hydrating primer beforehand, and that should really help you. But overall, this is an amazing foundation. Um, the staying power of it is absolutely great. I wore it for a night out not so long ago, and it really, really, stayed the whole night through and there was no fading whatsoever as did the Air Perez when I wore that to a wedding recently so yes absolutely amazing my second favorite the next favorite has to be the Sappho essential foundation and this is in the color Lisa now Sappho are coming over to the UK in the next few months I think just after summer more towards the later end of the year so definitely stay tuned for them but this is a gorgeous liquid foundation which gives a lighter to medium coverage. It feels more like a tinted moisturizer when you put it on. Um, so you do have to build up the coverage and I normally do wear some concealer over the top of this, but this is absolutely great for something that is more during the daytime and you don't want as heavy look on your skin, but it is just really lovely. It's really great for dry skin tones because it is really hydrating. Um, so this would be a great one to go for for during the day. The next foundation is the Inica Certified Organic with Hyaluronic Acid Foundation, and this is in the color Nude. Now, this color suits my skin tone perfectly. It's more of a lighter to slightly medium coverage foundation. So again, something that you could wear during the day, or if you just want a little bit more color on your face and to even out your skin tone. Now, this is, like I said, a bit like a tinted moisturizer, so I do have to go over with some concealer, but I really love it as a 
daytime foundation. It looks great. It feels really nice on the skin. Um, it's hydrating as well, so, so great for drier skin types. And I'm just, I think it's a phenomenal brand and they do consistently really good products. So yes, this is my next favorite. And for the final favorite in the liquid foundations is the Anton Cosmetics Skin Esteem Foundation. And this is in the color beige. Now, this feels more like a conventional foundation. I would say this one and the Air Perez feel the most like a conventional foundation in terms of the thickness and consistency. This is probably a light to medium coverage, um, but I really like the way this looks when you build it up. So I've used it before where I've done two or three coats of it and it looks really really good it never looks drying on my skin because sometimes the foundations can kind of sit on your skin especially when they're a little bit dry just look like you've got loads of makeup on and look a bit cakey whereas this one doesn't do that so um this is a brilliant pack price point it's really accessible i think in terms of foundation well for me it is anyway it's really quite dewy as well so it just gives a really nice finish it's kind of quite glowy and yeah, it just lasts really well as well. Not necessarily as well as the others, but I do really enjoy wearing this during the day. So in summary, the Air Perez foundation for liquid is probably my absolute favorite, then Gressa, and then Sappho, then Antom, and then Anika, I would say in terms of favorites, if I was gonna do it that way. But I think it's just because I like a slightly heavier look foundation and Air Perez really does give that to me. So those were my top favorite natural and organic foundations for you in liquid. So let's move on to cream. So I feel like I'm cheating with two of these products, mainly because you can use them as concealers as well. However, you just can't miss these out because I use them as a foundation all the time. And the first one is the Hint Beauty Perfecting Duet Concealer in Medium. Now, again, I know it says a concealer. However, I use this all the time as a foundation. This is probably the one product that gives the most coverage out of all the foundations altogether. And that's what I really, really love. So if you put this on a spot, the redness completely goes. It lasts and it just feels really creamy on your skin. It doesn't feel cake and I am obsessed with it. You'll have seen it in all of you'll have seen it in all of my makeup tutorials because it is phenomenal. And I just think this is an absolute star product. And this with Air Perez, your skin looks flawless. So yeah, two key products. So this is definitely my first favorite for cream foundations. The next favorite, again, I'm cheating, but it has to be the RMS Uncover Up and this is in number 11. Now I use number 22 as a foundation and then number 11 as a concealer. They only look like small pots, but they last forever. They really, really do. They blend super well. It does have coconut oil in it, so if you do have an allergy to that, please stay away but it's an amazing creamy consistency that goes on like a dream. It really does stay, especially if you seal it with a powder. And I am just an absolute fan of them, like the Hint Beauty Concealer and this together. Um, I use the Hint Beauty um, for spots and kind of as a foundation and then this is a concealer as well. Um, and it just, it's phenomenal. You all should just go and buy it. So yes, this is my next favorite from the next foundation, which is cream, which I love. And again, I'm slightly cheating is the Air Perez Arnica Concealer, which I again use as a foundation as well. I feel like these are multitasking products. They look amazing. It feels really moisturizing on the skin. It's a slightly drier consistency than what the RMS is. However, it still goes on really, really nicely on the skin and the foundation and this mix together um, looks really, really nice and it really does give you a flawless finish. So this is definitely another great cream foundation slash concealer to get. Moving on to actual cream foundations. This is the Kaoise Just Sheer Foundation and it looks like this. It is a really, really lovely moisturizing foundation, which I really, really love. I don't use it as much as what I should do. And I think it was just because it was so darn expensive. I'm a bit nervous, but I just don't want it all to go. <laughs> 
but this is refillable the packaging is just delightful and then once you finish this you can get a new replacement for it so you can always keep this gorgeous packaging which I, the consistency of it is really great I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for drier skin just because I do feel like it sometimes tends to sit on my face a little bit more than the rest of them whereas they tend to like just sink in and it looks like my skin however it's really really gorgeous I know there's a load of girls who are green beauty bloggers who are obsessed with this brand so it definitely has to be mentioned and finally a true Bobbi Brown dupe is the Vapor Atmosphere Luminous Foundation and this is in the color 120 this is basically like a Bobbi Brown makeup stick but without any of the ingredients that are not favorable for your health it's a really lovely light to medium coverage foundation and um, it blends super well I would definitely put a primer on just beforehand just to help blend a little bit more but I really love it it looks gorgeous on it looks super natural and has great staying power too those were the top five cream foundations so let us finally move on to the powder foundations in no particular order, the first one is the Inica Organics Baked Mineral Foundation, and this is in the colour Strength. I really love this as a setting powder for my makeup, and I've used it quite a lot of times just because it blends really nicely, it's super, super fine, and I feel like it just gives my skin that finish, but without the white look that sometimes you can get from white setting powders, and then they look awful in photographs. Um, I have had that happen to me. Um, but this is a really, really great foundation. Also, if you had run out of your liquid foundation, you could chip some of this off, mix it with a moisturizer, and then you've got a liquid foundation again. So a little top tip for you there. But yeah, if you love powder foundations, then this is the one for you because the coverage is great, it's really buildable, and it goes on super nice. The next powder foundation, which I really love, is the Antipodes Performance Plus Minerals Foundation, and this is in the color Light Yellow. Now, I really like the packaging for this because this is a mirror which you can, like a really close up mirror, which you can use when you're out and about. This is a loose powder foundation that you can really easily mix with some moisturizer if you want to make it into a liquid, which looks really lovely because I've tried it before. But equally, if you then just want to use it as a powder foundation too, then it sits really nicely on the skin. It gives a light coverage and I just really enjoy using it whenever I feel really greasy. To be fair, that isn't very often. You don't normally see on this channel much of powder foundations because I'm such a fan of liquid ones however this is great for setting your foundation and also you could throw this in your bag and then like I said mix it with a moisturizer and you've got yourself a bit of a tinted moisturizer for the whole day the next powder foundation which I have only recently started using but I love is the air Perez translucent perfecting powder now it looks like this it crumbles really really easily not as in like it breaks apart but just comes away super super easily from the pan it's oh it feels really luxurious and i used it for a wedding over the last few days as a setting powder and it worked like a treat it, my makeup lasted all day and all evening and I am such a fan of this. Like I've said before, Air Perez have reformulated all of their makeup and it's so high performing. I just absolutely love it. So yeah, this is definitely one to get if you would like a powder foundation. The next powder foundation that I love is the RMS Beauty Unpowder. Now this is basically the powder equivalent of the Uncover Up, which is in the cream concealer slash foundation. Um, this again is a loose powder, but this one's white. Now it is so super fine, it's ridiculous. And it's basically meant just to set your foundation. You can also use this on your eyes as well because it's so super fine and it keeps everything in place, especially if you're using natural and organics, it does tend to move a little bit more but it's an absolutely amazing powder. They have cut different colors in it as well in case you didn't want the white. Um, and I think if I was going to buy it again, I would definitely get the colored powder just to match my skin, just because I feel like I would get more use out of it rather than just the white powder. And it's absolutely amazing in terms of setting and also the powder in a tint is exactly the same. So I would definitely recommend this. And last but by no means least, again, is the Inica Powder Foundation, which is their loose mineral powder. Now this is really similar to the Antipodes powder in terms of it being loose and it being pigmented. And I would probably, I would more than likely mix this with a moisturizer if I'd run out of my cream one, but it's really lovely if you 
want something that's lightweight and is in powder form. So yes, that is my final recommendation. So those were my top 15 natural and organic foundations that I absolutely love in liquid cream and powder. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did because it really supports my channel. Also, if you would like to sign up to my free Glow Summit, which features some of the most incredible ladies being interviewed by myself to get their top tips and tricks on how to glow from the inside out, then the link's in the description bar below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again on the next video. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong.